and cue the neighborhood dogs. Always, always barking. <laughs> there was a time in my life in which I was obsessed with mechanical pencils and I tried a whole variety. These are all the ones that remain from a lifetime of collecting. When I was studying the cello more actively, which by the way, I have been practicing daily again and playing duets with my friend. Anyways, when I was studying music more actively and going to orchestra and having lessons, I really enjoyed these pencils for marking musical scores. Soft lead, easy to erase, didn't leave a big impression on the paper. I also have used a black wing mat for such things as well. And drawing, I've, I've used that black wing for drawing. I was sent this black wing Palomino, it was new at the time, by a pen pal. That was actually my first Blackwing experience, which was pretty exciting. I found this Blackwing at my local bookstore. This Blackwing is from Yoseka Stationery when I actually visited the store in person. It spurred a Blackwing kick in which I used three black wings down to the tiniest of points. Having a black wing pencil extender was very helpful. I tried one of the Mitsubishi, I think this was 90, 9850 or some kind of number. It said for writing for office use, smooth writing for office use is what it said. And it's a really nice pencil, very refined, very smooth, very well made but it felt a little generic i felt like it lacked personality at some point years ago i bought this leuchtturm pencil as i am such a huge fan of leuchtturm notebooks that pencil is horrible i hate it it's so grainy and gritty and it feels like there's chunks of sand in the graphite it's just very unpleasant. I have a Tombow recycled pencil in HB that again is very smooth and very clean, very nice writer, but also feels a little bit generic. At some point, I ordered a box of sample pencils from Musgrave. I forget that one. I think it was called, oh, it's Unigraph uh, in the F graphite. Also Musgrave, these are all Musgraves. What I ended up enjoying the most is this Tennessee red cedar. I have written two of those down to the little stubs and I'm working on a third one at the moment. I am obsessed with these Tennessee Reds. They smell so good, as they are cedar. It's just a delightful scent. They are, it's not super fragrant, but when you hold the point to your nose, you can smell them and they're just wonderful. Now these pencils are a little bit raw, a little bit rough. They have a very angular, cut that is not quite as refined and smooth and finished as some of the other pencils that I showed you. 
They also sometimes have strange knots that you have to get through. And I've discovered that using a regular pencil sharpener, which has also been a bit of a journey, did not work very well because there would often be chunks in which I could not break through when sharpening and also parts of the lead would just break up and fall out. So I've discovered that the best way to sharpen these pencils has been with an open L knife or some sort of knife. I have here a very tiny open L. I believe this is number five, which is much smaller than their more traditional number eight or more common number eight. The thing that I love so much about sharpening a pencil with a knife, not only is it just really satisfying, it feels so good. And as someone who has always enjoyed whittling just for fun, never really creating anything in particular, just because the action of cutting wood with a knife feels so good, uh, this just really checks all of the boxes. Furthermore, you can get exactly the point you want. Whatever shape you desire, how fine you want your line. I know all of the art students out there are like, duh! But I'm only just discovering that. And believe me, this little box of shavings smells so good. Erasers, of course, have come and gone throughout the years. I have tried a whole variety. I think this one, though, is my favorite. It's just so delightfully squishy. And that's one thing that I do not care for about these Musgrave pencils is I think their eraser is not the best, or I don't like it. Maybe it is a good eraser. It just doesn't suit my needs. I like a squishier, softer erasing experience. Eventually, with enough use, this eraser will look like Mount Fuji. So one of the unexpected consequences of writing with pencils instead of pens for my daily journaling, particularly instead of fountain pens, is that paper needs are a little bit different. Turns out I don't need fountain pen friendly paper, obviously, when writing with pencils. So I've been having another side journey of discovery with notebooks. This one is Experiment 2023. And oh my goodness, staying calm and peaceful while those darn neighborhood dogs are barking their heads off is a good exercise of practicing patience. Because trust me, I really want to yell at them. It's so annoying. Anyways, moving along. I am writing in a write in the rain notebook, which is kind of fun. Uh, it's not something that I have really had a whole lot of experiment experience with. Uh, the paper is a little bit gritty. It is not good when it comes to erasing. It's just absolutely horrible. So really, I don't know, is there a point to erasing if you really can't on this pen? But as you can see, it's not super ideal for fountain pens, but you can write really well with a ballpoint or roller ball or gel pen and of course pencil. So we're just experimenting with this little notebook. It's been fun being able to turn the whole book 
back like that and just have this one writing surface. On Instagram, someone asked to see me write with a tiny pencil. So here you are. Thank you everyone for watching and joining me on this little pencil discovery adventure. I'll see you all in the next video.